So a couple of months ago, I was working this job um, at UCLA. It was a part-time thing. And I came across this man. He was extremely negative. He was so negative. He was complaining about the job. He was complaining about everything. And then we all end up going to sit down and he just so happened to choose to sit next to little old me, right? And then as soon as he sits down and we're working or whatever, he goes, are you an actress or a student? I was like, I'm an accountant, but why do you ask that? So he goes, well, it's mostly actresses or actors and uh, um, students that work this job. So I was like, okay, then he goes, okay, so if you're an accountant, I haven't met accountants working here, so why are you here? So I started explaining why I was there and what my goals, some of my goals and aspirations. And then he goes, don't don't pursue that don't even bother it's a waste of time just um be an accountant work your day job and you do great in life <laughs> I, I, me and the girl next to me like we were like laughing but in my head i was just like did i ask this man for validation like did i ask him what I should or shouldn't do or did he ask me a question and I answered it so it was kind of funny but then you know some people would probably just you know ignore him or maybe curse him out or something but then I decided to play his little game and when I'm at work I like to be entertained right so I decided to flip the script and ask him a bunch of questions since he wanted to play the question game then he let me know that he's 44 he's an actor he's been in acting he came out here about nine years ago but he has not booked any major roles like he hasn't booked any roles that really pay much of anything so his main source of income is from background acting and so he works at this part-time job to cover his bills and then he also let me know that he's not married no children he's a straight man um but he doesn't have any of those things then he continued to let me know that he rents an apartment with a roommate whom he hates then he decided to start talking trash about this roommate so after he told me all of that i started realizing why he is so negative about life he's negative because he's not happy and he's not where he wants to be so he wants to project his own fears and you know the, the fact that he's not where he wants to be onto other people and that's why he's really so negative so then, you know, I continued talking to him and I was talking about my own dreams and aspirations and he kept hitting me with some negativity here and there and I kept deflecting it like with my own positive thoughts and then he started realizing that it wasn't working, like his whole negative spiel was not working on me and I was gonna keep being positive and he just had to get with the program, right? Then he end up starting being positive. Like he actually, from me like deflecting him, he started becoming really positive and letting me know um, like some of the things that didn't work for him, like getting a bad agent who wasn't booking him the correct roles. And so this is just an example of how you cannot let the negativity of other people affect you and how you being positive can actually turn it around in your favor. Um, cause a lot of the people who are very negative about life, it's not really because they want to be negative at times and sometimes they don't even realize that they're doing it. A lot of it is simply because they're not where they want to be and so in a sense it makes them a little bit miserable um but in me hitting him with positive vibes i was able to turn a whole negative nancy into a positive patsy like he became so positive he was so cool we were talking the whole time but i wanted to point this short story out to the point that we come across these kinds of people every single day 
it's not just strangers. It's our friends, our family, our coworkers, our bosses, acquaintances. These are people that are in our lives every day who are simply not happy with where they are in life. I mean, think about your life and how many people in your life are actually doing things that they want to do. Like, when I think about the, like, close people in my life, I can say, yeah, maybe three are actually pursuing things that they want to pursue like so those are the only three people i would honestly go to for any kind of advice because those people will have a different outlook on life and they'll their advice would be more in the direction of where i'm trying to go versus someone who's stagnant and not doing what they want in life like if you line up the people in your life who are really stagnant and not going where they want versus like the people who are goal oriented and going towards where they want and you ask them questions like as it relates to your dreams or you tell them about it and your aspirations their reactions are very different and you probably, as you're watching this video, know what I'm talking about. Their reaction can be very different. And it's not like the stagnant people are really trying to be negative. It's just that sometimes they don't even realize that they're doing it. They don't realize they're doing it simply because they're not where they want to be. I know when I was moving here, some of my coworkers at my part-time job, um, I had told them that I was moving here and, you know... Generally, most people make jokes or they start talking all type of crap about LA. Like, they were hitting me with so much negativity at times. And then I was, I kept like, I be deflecting it with like my positive vibes, you know, cause the thing about me is nothing anyone says is gonna stop me from pursuing my dreams once I set out for it. So them hitting me with all the negativity, I reflected that with positivity and then it was funny because towards the end when I was about to leave, one of the guys actually came up to me and we were sitting and having a really serious talk and this is a coworker who he has his own dreams and aspirations and I used to always tell him like you need to leave this job and go do it because you can do it you know but he's so fearful and he has so many negative thoughts towards it but then towards the end he came up to me and he was like you're so brave I'm so proud of you I hope that one day I can you know go forward and pursue the stuff that I want like you are that's another example of how to not let people's negative projection come on to you because they're honestly just doing it out of fear. That You cannot let that bother you and you cannot let them put that on you because just because they feel they can't do things or they feel like things aren't working for them doesn't mean that it won't work for you. One other thing is sometimes it's your close friends and you have to learn how to put them in their place at times. Cause I know also when I was coming here, um, closer to the date of when I was moving, I had this one friend who kept just saying a lot of negative things about LA as I was about to come here. And it was just like, first of all, let me tell you, all the people who used to tell me negative things about LA has never actually been to LA. How are you gonna tell me about LA when you've never been here? Like they're just saying stuff that they see on TV and stuff. And the last straw for me was when I actually landed in LA and I actually had let this person know, I let several people know that I had had an anxiety attack and they started talking about earthquakes. I was ticked off. I had to put them in their place because it's like, why are you telling me about earthquakes when I'm telling you that I have an anxiety attack? Like, I felt like they were purposely trying to put fear into me. And it's just like, it's not like I was fearful or anything, but it's just like, I don't want to keep hearing all the negativity when... 
like i'm here now and i'm actually pretty excited so it's like i don't want to hear all this negativity i had to put them in their place they actually end up apologizing like they didn't realize that they were coming off as being negative they thought that they were like trying to just make me be careful and stuff but i'm just like there's a difference between being honest like criticism like constructive criticism i should say versus just being negative and at that point like they were just being very negative you know what i mean and you have to know the difference between those people and you have to be able to like put them in their place if it's someone especially who is in your inner circle you have to know how to put them in their place because if you don't it's gonna continue and eventually that might actually bring down your confidence and you don't want people like being negative to you and your dreams and aspiration to the point that you start like second guessing yourself or bringing down your confidence i'm not saying that that was happening to me but i know for some people like who are dreamers people close in your life who are being like super negative towards your dreams and aspirations it can actually become a dream killer and you don't need dream killers in your life. So if you put them in their place and then they continue to do it, then at that point, then then people need to go. Like, you need to just tell them they gotta go. Like, don't keep them people around. Like, keep them at arm's length. Because there are some people in life where while you're struggling and stuff, they'll support you, right? But as soon as they see you start to do well they disappear they they stop supporting you they stop um they stop the positive vibes they start saying shady stuff like oh i see you just um trying to do your little thing you done switched up you done went hollywood or you done did this or you done did that like no i didn't done do anything i leveled up like that's what life is about life is about growth and leveling up and it's like if those people don't want to level up with you sometimes you gotta just leave them behind that's just the reality of things like don't let them start putting all those fears and negativity and the fact that they aren't doing what they want to do onto you Remember to be wary of the people that you go to for advice. Like, don't go to those people who are stagnant in life and not doing anything with their life for advice, okay? Also, the people who try to project their fears onto you, do remember that when they're trying to project their fears onto you, just remember that it's their own personal fears. It's not yours. And just because things did not work out for them does not mean it would not work out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.